What's up guys? Chan the Barber back at it again. And I am in the beautiful city of Boston right now. Um, I flew in yesterday. And I will be in Boston for the next couple of days doing a training course with UK Barber Josh OP. Um, I have done a couple of online courses with Josh. He's a phenomenal barber. He has his own formula for cutting and um, yeah, I saw that he was coming to Boston, I think it was like last month and um, well he's doing a tour around the states and I, um, I really wanted to, to, to kind of get more of like a hands-on experience with uh, his particular form formula, the DFS formula. If you don't know Josh, check him out. You should go look up his stuff. He's he's incredible barber. So I flew in yesterday um, from Jackson, Mississippi, and I am um, uh, starting the the course today. It's a three day three day course. Yeah, it should be pretty cool. I am looking forward to it. Um, really enjoying the city and um, just gonna kind of document a little bit here and there on this journey. Traveling for Cheap 101, make your own food. to do and where we want to go and that's why one of the first things we are going to do this morning is um, <clears throat> a little bit of goal setting a little bit of sort of building an idea, an idea of who we actually want to become I think that one of the things that we don't do enough of as professionals is take time to actually think about where we want to go With the white light bounces up and different things like that, it can look different in the mirror. Sometimes it shows you things you couldn't see. Sometimes for me it shows you shadows that aren't there because of the way the light's coming from above. Yeah. So sometimes I end up thinking people t fade too tight sometimes because of the mirror. <laughs> section so I do probably one two maybe three more every time dropping it down once I get to this corner what I try to tend to do is keep it a little bit flatter right because I, don't, I want to avoid accidentally taking it up too far because mm -hmm. like we said before if you if you go around the head sometimes you go up whereas I want to keep it flat so I keep it on purpose a little bit flatter here well guys today is the last day of my barber course with Joshua P and uh, here in Boston it's been a really been a really good time I have learned a ton and I'm really grateful to have gotten this opportunity to come to Boston and to uh, just have more of like a hands-on um, education um, even though it's only for three days, it was really 
beneficial or it's been really beneficial today is the final day which will be mostly practical which I'm looking forward to so um, yeah I, I highly encourage if you're a barber to go check out uh, Joshua P um, he's got an online academy that is really uh, just as far as like all of the education that I have like looked into his is very thorough and very like in depth and um so yeah i would encourage you to check him out and um yeah really enjoyed boston the city um it's been really cool for me to kind of just experience um city life like that for a second and um but i'll be heading home today back to jackson and excited to get back to the cutting but you'd still want to keep this area flat so it would have pulled flat back into sort of a more textured diffused image at the back because even if i just do that now that would right, be without using the, the, the razor on the back would yeah that be, this should be without using the razor right because even if i just do that right mm -hmm. it's adding that just a little bit of texture to it so you imagine you comb it all back and it's blow dry back into there but you've just diffused this up a little bit it's just going to be yeah that's kind of where i'm like nine. We finished the day. I'm trying to get down to one. If it's all, <laughs> if it's all hair and beards though, eight. Yeah. All hair and beards, eight's a great number. Yeah. That's eight hours. That's a good number. We finished the day and he'd be like the Wolfsmith book. Right? And in the book, he, he describes it really a little bit better than I posted it because I, I like, it just, I, I just thought about it in my head, right? It seemed like this idea. And it basically was the idea of if you're trying to build a brick wall, like if someone said to you, right, go build that whole wall for that house, right? Every morning you woke up and you're thinking, I need to build that brick wall. What's so amazing about this Airbnb is that they have a hand that holds your toilet paper. Now isn't that just so nice?